Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial where I will going to talk about the Power BI line and clustered column chart. So in the previous video, we have seen what we have discussed is the Power BI line and stack chart. And this, this uh, video or this tutorial is just a change between from the stack chart and the clustered column chart. So how does this look like? So this looks like this. So earlier we had these consumer, corporate, home office, small business categories stack on top of each other. But this time it is clustered and sometimes clustering or these cluster gives a much better representation. And that's why I wanted to show you as this as a separate topic as compared to the stack chart. So let me go into the Power BI and show you how easily you can do this. So if you remember, this is the chart that we created earlier. So right now we have these categories and comparing individual categories along with the other categories becomes really a daunting task or a difficult task for an end user because they will really have to work with each individual lines or each individual stack of the bar and compare with each other. After some exercise, they will be able to get the information. But how about making their life easier? Because that's the job of the Power BI visualization developer. So what you need to do is simply click over here in the line and cluster chart. And what it gives you is a very beautiful cluster chart where the information or the bars are clustered together for the different customer segment on the office machine. So clearly in case of the uh, office machine, the corporate segment is leading, but it also shows you how it is doing in the rest of the other categories. Similarly, other categories you can compare either within the cluster or among the various different product subcategories. And that's basically the benefit. And I've seen this chart used a lot in as comparison to the previous chart, the stack chart, because for that you have to do or your user have to do a lot of exercise to reveal the information. But this clusters will give you a much better uh, information presentation when you have a scenario like this where you have first access like the product category and the second access like the customer set to create the cluster or to create the stacks. So my recommendation, use the cluster chart on top of the stack bar chart uh, whenever you have this scenario and this will going to reveal a lot of interesting information. If you are looking for uh, some of the properties that I described like uh, the Y axis and all, please look the previous example for the stack bar chart where I have explained everything about it from, from the sheet that I have shared with the description and you will get to know a lot about it. So that's very quickly I wanted to show you how you can create the, uh, the cluster bar and line chart within Power BI. Now I will meet you in the next topic.